Now, just a quick recap of the objective of the business. Remember, if I hit the 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 plus button here, the objective of the business is, in general is revenue generation. Our objective as the accounting department or the, the bookkeepers are to enter the financial transactions in such a way that it is as easy as possible to create the end result from a financial perspective, balance sheet income statement with, and related reports, which will be used for whatever goal they need to be used for at the end of the period typically. And that's gonna be taxes and the creation of the financial statements for internal and, and external use for planning as well as, as providing them to a, like a bank or whatever needs to be done in order to get financing or, or something like that. And then our other goal is to facilitate our transactions in such a way that it is as easy as possible to communicate with those financial transactions who we're doing business with, the customers, the vendors, and the employees. The way we're gonna do that is first, we set up the company file as we have done, we set up the foundational stuff, many of which is in the cog, like the lists, the chart of accounts that we'll take a look at in more depth uh, in a future presentation, and then the products and services and so on. And this is the underlying foundational stuff that needs to happen so that the day-to-day -day data input is as easy as possible. The day-to-day -day in data input will be done with these forms typically, which most of them can be found in the new button, invoices, credit memos, expense forms, check forms, bill forms, processing the payroll. This is all the stuff that you do basically in a day-to-day -day process. And then in order to facilitate our discussion with the people we do business with, customers, vendors, employees, that's when we often go into what I would call the centers on the left-hand side, such as the sales would be kind of like the center for our customers. So we've got our information uh, related to the customers. Here's your list of customers. And if I was to communicate with them, I would go into here. We don't have any customers yet, but there it is. Expenses, this is what I would call the purchasing cycle or the expense cycle. We can go into our vendors. And then of course we have the payroll. So, so there are those items there. And so we'll talk more about navigating around there in future presentations.